Hi everybody, it's Halo 4 Tutor, and I was playing Halo 4 the other day, and I just wasn't having very much fun. Tell me if this has happened to you, you're playing Halo 4, and you think to yourself, uh, this game is not as much fun as it could be. And so, I decided to go back and relive the glory days a little bit, play some Halo 3, and when I did, I ended up playing Free For All in the pit. Had a blast, it was a ton of fun, I really loved it. And I, I, I had an epiphany, which is where like that light bulb goes off above your head and all of a sudden you see everything crystal clear. And so I want to share with you my epiphany. And I want you to tell me what you think, see if you agree. And I also want you to tell me in the comments down below, um, do you feel like the Halo franchise is progressing or is it regressing? So that's the real question I want to get out here. And I want to use an analogy. I think it's a pretty good one. Have you ever had your father or your grandfather say something like this? You know, you kids are so spoiled these days. When I was a young boy, I had to work for everything. I didn't get anything for free. Today, you kids have video games and cell phones and laptops. And when I was a young boy, I had to walk to school uphill both ways in the snow without any shoes, right? Have you ever heard them say something like that? Well, I have. And, at, you know, when I was younger, I thought they were, they were basically crazy, but these days, I kind of wonder if maybe they're a little bit more wise than I give them credit for. So, today, I'm going to be uh, Old Man Tutor, and I'm going to reminisce about the old Halo days, and I want you to tell me if I'm absolutely off my rocker, if I'm crazy Old Man Tutor, or if I'm wise Old Man Tutor. You tell me. Because when I was a young Spartan, the game was very, very different. Um... You didn't get anything free and easy in the old games like you do today. Uh, you didn't load out with armor abilities and power-ups and support upgrades and tactical packages. If you wanted an advantage, you had to go out onto the battlefield and dominate your opponent and assert yourself and steal those advantages. So if you wanted an overshield or an active camouflage or if you wanted equipment like a regeneration field or a power drain or a bubble shield, you had to go out there and fight your opponents for the right to use those uh, power-ups and those equipment. And uh, when you fought and you acquired those advantages, that was just a one-time use. You didn't get to reuse it over and over and over again like you do with today's armor abilities. You had to fight at tooth and nail to gain any kind of advantage. Well, when I was a young Spartan, additionally, we had to walk everywhere. We didn't get a sprint like all you Spartans get to use today. And additionally, when I was a young Spartan, I didn't get to pick and choose which art, which weapons I loaded out with. Right? I got stuck with a really lame Magnum and a really underwhelming assault rifle. And if I wanted to do any damage, I had to hunt and search for a battle rifle. I had to go out and usually I had to kill somebody just to steal their weapon from them because I didn't have the, the privilege of loading out with any weapon I wanted. And I certainly didn't have the ability to load out with a one-shot kill weapon like the bolt shot. Right? That, I certainly didn't have that privilege when I was growing up. Well, today, if you, know, you want a power weapon, what do you have to do? Well... Nothing, because the power weapons just materialize right before your eyes. And not only that, but you get to choose which power weapon is going to appear right in front of your face. Back in the olden days, when I was a young Spartan, you actually had to go out and you had to time the power weapons. You had to fight your opponents to try and snag those power weapons. You had to fight them off. And uh, a lot of times, the only way you're getting your hands on a power weapon is if you took somebody down and you walked over to their dead body and you grabbed the power weapon off the ground. That's the only way you were getting a power weapon. But today, it doesn't matter what your skill level is or how good you are or what's going on. The power weapons will just, uh, you know, spawn right in front of your face and you can choose which one and, you know, go on your merry way. Very, very simple and easy for Spartans today. Now... Don't even get me started on the ranking system because when I was a young Spartan, nobody was massaging my ego with an experience-based ranking system. In my day, if you wanted to rank up, you had to win games. And if you didn't win games, you didn't rank up. In fact, if you lost games, y'all know what happened? You ranked down, right? Today, what do we have? We've got an experience-based bank rankings, uh, experience -based ranking system where... It doesn't matter if you win, lose, or draw. It doesn't matter. Your rank's going to go up, so you don't really have to worry too much about that. And the rank is basically meaningless these days. 
Um, and the other thing, you know, is that when I was young Spartan, when I was growing up, you were discouraged from deserting your teammates. If you deserted your teammates, you were prohibited from matchmaking for a period of time. And you were also ranked down. Whereas today, there's no penalty for abandonment. So you can leave your teammates hanging and it's really no big deal. When I was young, if your teammates bailed on you, nobody was going to join in progress and save your bacon. You had to fight it out alone regardless of the odds. You know, when I was a young Spartan, and this really gets me, they didn't just hand out medals for everything under the sun. You didn't get 30 or 40 medals every game like Spartans do today. When I was young, you only got a couple medals. I mean, if you wanted a medal, you had to do something amazing like exterminate the other team or get a perfection or something. If you wanted a medal, that's what you had to go out and really do something spectacular. But today... You know, you don't have to do anything spectacular to get a medal. In fact, you get medals for failures. Uh, I mean, extermination and perfection have been replaced with uh, comeback kill and generic kill, right? So it's absolutely ridiculous, the, 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 the medal system that we have in place today. You know, it felt like the, the end result of all this is that Bungie developed a game that encouraged players to improve their skill level and to really strive to get better and better with every game that they played and as a result you could play Halo for years and never even want to touch another game because you just wanted to keep getting better and better and better at this game and the better you got the more games you won and the more rewarding the game was the more fun it was to play but uh, you know it feels like 343 is engineering a Halo game that is just uh, geared towards the lowest common denominator they're trying to make the game fun for everybody regardless of your skill level so it doesn't matter if you're you're as talented or not it doesn't you don't even have to get better at the game you can win games just by getting a lucky ordnance drop or by using your uh, armor abilities and tactical packages and support upgrades you don't actually have to outperform any of your opponents you can just uh, basically take advantage of all these luxuries that 343 has provided and uh you know, you don't even have to work for those victories anymore. And as, as a consequence, they're just not as rewarding as they used to be. You know, because when I was a young Spartan, we played on amazing maps like Guardian, Construct, Epitaph, and The Pit. And we had incredible playlists like Lone Wolves, Action Sack, Multi-Team, and Team Doubles. And, uh, you know, young Spartans today just don't appreciate those types of playlists and those types of maps. So those are, are the, the true simple joys of Halo that I experienced when I was a young Spartan. I want to hear what you think. Am I just a crazy old man tutor? Or is there a little bit of wisdom in what I have to say? I want to hear from you. Leave your comments down below. Please like, comment, and subscribe to the video. Add this one to your favorites. Share it with your friends. Halo 4 Tutor. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you next time.